Enjoying the show? You can help others find it and enjoy it too by giving us a five-star rating or review. If you feel like reaching out to us with a question or comment, you can send us an email at mywifetherd at gmail.com. And don't forget to visit our website at mywifethedietitian.com, as well as our social media pages. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Enjoy the show. It's Robin Sander from My Wife the Dietitian, and this is Nutrition Nuggets. It sure is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is, it is. And another question from a listener that we're taking today. Oh, those listeners. It's an interesting one. Yes. Um, she says, my mom used to follow Weight Watchers in the 80s, the diet, mm-hmm. and at every meal, she would drink a large glass of water before her meal. So that was... Uh, I guess instruction through Weight Watchers, and she just remembers her mom doing that, and she says, "Is this a good idea?" Hmm. Interesting. I can I can see the logic behind that. I don't necessarily think it's right. I can also see where the where the problem might be, but I'm guessing the the logic is that if you drink water, it will fill you up a bit, and then you won't eat as much. Right. But then the problem is, is you're not eating and you're not getting your nutrition, <laughs> right? Right. So there we go. Problem solved. Thanks for coming out. No, we'll talk to you next week. No, no, no. We're going to talk about this a little bit more. There's a lot more to it, actually. Okay. You'll just give us all the details. Well, you're right about the appetite control and satiety in theory, right? That you would feel fuller. You're getting more fluid in your stomach before you eat so that you don't want to eat as much. Mm-hmm. But there's a bit of a problem with that. Well, didn't I just say that what the problem was or is there another problem? What what was the problem you said? Well, you don't get your nutrition from eating your food. True. And I mean, who would do that every single meal anyways? So they, they do that in restaurants too. They give you a bunch of water to fill up on so that you don't eat all their food. And we just did an episode on hydration. I think it was last week, Mm -hmm. Nutrition Nuggets. And it is really important to keep your fluid intake up. It's it's really important. But there is a problem with drinking a big amount of water at a meal. And you know what that problem is? It can dilute your stomach acid. Oh. And it's interesting because... As people age, they have a lower amount of stomach acid and they might not digest their food very well because the acid's not working properly. And this can lead to a lot of problems. There's issues with B12 deficiency and that would be if they're um, like there's people that have chronic GERD. We did a whole episode on like way early days, like two years ago. Um, August 2022, all about feel the burn. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I remember that one. Heartburn, that is. Yeah. So, and part of that is there's a lot of people that have heartburn, acid reflux, GERD, all those different words. And they might be on a medication, like a acid lowering medication, like a PPI, proton pump inhibitor. Oh, the PPIs. <laughs> I remember those too. Yeah. And then if you're on that, it actually reduces the stomach acid. So it's not as effective as at digesting your food. And it can affect how you absorb your B12, your vitamin B12. And if you are not absorbing that B12, it can actually lead to nerve damage and cognitive decline and dementia. Wow. It's pretty irreversible too. Holy. So there's, you know, so not <laughs> not saying that drinking water with a meal will lead to that. I'm just cautioning people to drink a lot of water before they eat because it might reduce the stomach acid from actually doing the trick of like digesting their food. You mean don't drink a lot of water before you eat? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And drink throughout the day, like sip... You know, it's good to, um, if you're trying to get your fluid intake, just like regularly through the day. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just drink like once a day. Like it's really important to spread it out. Yeah. Well, and you know how you feel like when you're super thirsty and and you just guzzle like like a giant glass of water, like you feel like you swallowed a basketball. Like you've got this big like full belly. So yeah. I can see yeah how it would how it would totally dilute things versus having a sort of a steady trickle of water going through the through your system all day long. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, like, you know, if you're working out or running or biking or any activity, it's really important to uh, regularly be drinking water. And you should definitely drink fluids at a meal. It's okay. It's just, I don't really like the advice of like making sure every meal you drink a full glass of water before you start eating. It's very diet centric, um, you know, that kind of diet mentality, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. diet culture. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's like, I mean, for some people they need to drink fluids with a meal because, um, with swallowing problems, like if they have any issues with swallowing hard, um, dry textures like crackers or toast or, you know, or even meat sometimes can be super dry Mm -hmm. and having a little bit of liquid with that meal, like as you're eating, it can be helpful. Oh, for sure. Right. And we see that with like elderly people that maybe are having some issues with swallowing if they've had a, a stroke or any issues with dysphagia, it's called where you have uh, trouble swallowing and having fluid with food can sometimes be helpful in mm-hmm. some cases. Yeah. Sometimes it's actually harder to control the fluid if you have issues swallowing, but that's a whole nother topic. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. But, and the other thing is, um, I think we mentioned this with the hydration episode, as you age, you kind of lose your thirst receptors. So oh, right, right. you might not be feeling thirsty uh, until you're mildly dehydrated. True. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's another reason to continually try to drink water throughout the day. Like every time you go into the washroom or every time you go into the kitchen, um, have wa- a water bottle when in your car or if you're on the bus or if you're out and about, like have water with you so that you're constantly having fluids throughout the day mm-hmm. and uh, not necessarily just drinking like a huge gulp of water or like a huge glass of water before eating. Exactly. It's like if you're in the hospital, you've got that IV, it's just a drip like that's constantly going into you, right? I mean, that would be ideal to have that attached to you. So then you don't have to think about drinking. I forget all the time. I'm like, all oh, right, I got to drink some water. And I often think, well, those the, those little camel pack things that the the bikers wear, cyclists, I mean, yeah. runners and whatever, they're, they're super handy. I should just get one of those for working in the garden. It's a great idea. It kind of is a great idea, actually. And then you just like sip on that. Yeah. Because I'm like, literally, I spent 10 minutes today looking for a water bottle. (laughs) And I was the one who got rid of them all because I thought, why do we have like 20 water bottles in our cupboard? There's only four of us living here. And I think I stuck them all in a box and the lids didn't match. And we got rid of a bunch. And and now I couldn't find one. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So, yeah. That's awesome. Those those camel packs would be uh, kind of handy. Yeah. Yeah. So the the listener question, my mom used to follow Weight Watchers in the 80s and was instructed to drink a large glass of water right before a meal, every meal. I wonder if it worked. I wonder like what the results were and if they still do that, like if that's still a, a common practice with Weight Watchers. Oh, yeah. Let let us know if you are following that or if your mom did that. Uh, let us know your experience with drinking the water before eating and how much did you drink and what if you're it, still yeah, on the diet help? roller coaster. <laughs> yeah, right. Holy. You know, like it's that diet culture. And a lot of times it's just you get on to one and it's not working. And so you get off it and then you start another one and it's just the um the cycle and it's better to Let's change your habits yeah it's change your change your eating habits instead of trying to get the quick fix yeah and slow steady gradual yeah. change for long term sustainability yeah it takes a little bit longer to make those changes but it's you just well do, it, worth it. do it once and Set it and forget it, as they say. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's all about habits. That's right. We've we've done so many different episodes with de- different guests about that, eh? Like uh, Tony mm-hmm. Toledo, we did all about habits. And Dr. Wesley McWhorter, that was another episode that we talked about um, culinary medicine, but we talked about habit building and changing habits, how important it is for lifestyle changes and healthy habits. I listened to Smart Goals this morning. That was our New Year's episode. Oh, like, yeah. 
two years ago, 2022, right. maybe January 2022. Yeah, New and Year's resolutions kind of thing. Yeah. But yeah. goals. I kind of laughed because I thought, you know, there's, I really want to start like getting back into doing yoga in the morning. And the irony is that was my goal on that episode back in 2022. So it's like this lifetime struggle I have with like keeping up my morning routine and it, it comes and goes and but yeah, I kind of laughed because it's the whole purpose of me listening to that episode this morning. <laughs> oh, right. I should listen to that and figure out how I can get that back on that routine. And, and yeah, that was my goal. And I was laughing at, I was laughing then how I was struggling with morning yoga. Yeah. My nemesis. I know. And I feel like if I don't do that, then I get aches and pains later. Like I basically waking up early and doing that 12 to 15 minute yoga kind of practice is like my saving grace oh, yeah. for feeling better through it, the day. It really is. It's, and I'll, yeah. I'll get there. It's a good way to start the day. Oh, for sure. That's just me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It does work though. For me. Yeah, it does. But uh, yeah. Anyways, but with your fluid, just try to keep drinking throughout the day and uh, ter- carry your water bottle and remember half your Half your body weight in ounces is a good rule of thumb, or another way to do it is eight by eight. So eight ounces, eight times a day. Mm-hmm. And so, if, if you're ready for bed and you realize you've only had five glasses of water, <laughs> don't guzzle like a pitcher of water before you go to bed. Or you're going like, to be up going to pee all night, maybe. The point is to keep your body hydrated. So if it hasn't been like, like you're not, you can't play catch up really I mean, especially before you go to bed. The next you, day you can. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just more important the next day it is to try to stay on top of the, the regular hydration. And you know, like when you wake up in the morning, um, I think we've talked about this before, but a lot of people like if they're like looking at their weight or weighing themselves, it's always the least first thing in the morning, right? Your mm-hmm, weight. Mm-hmm. And it's partly because you're mildly dehydrated about like you're not, you have not had a sip of fluid or you haven't drank much water over that last eight hours of sleeping and you've lost some with breathing and maybe peeing and sweating or, you know, however that works for you. But it's interesting to think that that that's water weight and it's just from being mildly dehydrated. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So it's one of the good strategies is having a glass of water right when you wake up. I do that. That is something I've started doing. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Partly because I'm thirsty, which is yeah. because I'm dehydrated. Yeah. But I I know that that's a good practice. There's so many, I've read that in so many different places that it's like, oh, it feels good just to have a nice cold glass of water. Yeah. Start the day. Exactly. There we go. Hopefully we answered the listener question there and uh, I wouldn't be uh, super um, methodical or regimented about having a whole big glass of water before you eat a meal. That seems like diet culture to me. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Here's your tip for the week. So thanks for joining us today. If you want more information on what we're doing, you can check out our website. It's mywifethedietitian.com. If you have questions like our listener did today, you can email us at mywifetherd at gmail.com. You can also find us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can comment on our episodes there. It's super helpful for us to hear some feedback, so don't be shy. Leave us, uh, leave us a comment or just give us a like, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, join, however it works. All of those are most appreciated as well. And don't forget to share with your friends. Friends are really curious uh, why you're smiling so much while you've got your uh, headphones on there and your earbuds in, and, and they want to know what you're listening to. So be sure to share everything you're learning from my wife, the dietitian with your friends and your family. So that is it for this week. We will be back next Monday with a full episode. Uh, Look for a newsletter coming out. We do that once a week. It's usually out uh, sometimes Sunday, sometimes Monday. Depends how busy the weekend is. Good information in there. You can sign up for that on the website. So uh, yeah, good stuff there. Check that out. And until next Monday, have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining us today on My Wife the Dietitian. If you like what you heard, don't be shy. Leave us a comment or review and be sure to share our podcast with your friends. If you'd like to hear more, hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on our social media pages for updates, episode trailers, and other odds and ends. 
For more info and links on what we discussed on today's episode, check the show notes. We'll be back next week with another informative and fun-filled episode. 